Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. Guys, today I show you how to create Pac-Man animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I create Pac-Man. So guys, I take Spare, increase Spare, Segments, Segments take 50 and after that I take Cube. Guys, I create Mouth, make editable this cube, click here and make smaller like this yes and last point go on mate right and take points guys use rectangle selection tool select last points and closer like this and select front points right it's so easy guys and now guys use bold tool select this pair and up select both objects and make child with bull right see guys this is my pac-man and now guys i create eye so again i take spare and same segments take 50 and guys make editable make smaller like this yes and guys attach on here and little bit rotate yeah see guys right and now again select this eye and copy this pair and up same select scale tool make smaller yes see guys this is my simple small pac-man and now i create mouth animation so guys select this cube and go to chord and see guys this is my scale size go on mid y axis create like this right and guys increase frame i create 300 frames and go to zero frame and scale size take like 0 0.05 little bit up yes 0 0.25 and press this animation key and guys i go to 20 frame and scale size increase like 2 and press this animation key right yes guys copy this frames select shift key and select copy and guys press holding control and drag and drop right go on back and play see guys it's so easy again copy all frames and press control key drag and drop yes again more same press control key and drag and drop and last one yeah so i show you go on back and play see guys right and now guys i create balls so take spare and this time spare radius take only 50 yes and guys i take pen tool 
and I go to top view panel. And click here, I create line, click and click and right click, disconnect point, right? See guys, this is my path. So this time I take cloner, select this pair and make child with cloner. Guys, select cloner and object mode use object and guys select this spline drag and drop in object yeah great little bit increase count like 12 and now guys i create animation so i take null object down select all pacman and make child with null object and guys rename this null object double click type pacman Yes, and right click on this Pac-Man, Cinema 4D tag and use Align to Spline. And guys, select this tag, select this spline, drag and drop in spline path. Yes, and go to one back. It's not animate. So guys, position change like this. Right? This is my position. Go on zero frame on zero position zero and check. Guys, go to last frame 300 and position take 100% and check. Right? Go on back and play. See, guys. But, guys, this is not real stick. So, go on back and Select this keyframe and guys go to here and take liner and select last keyframe 300 keyframe and take liner. Yes. And again play. Yeah, that's good. Yes. And now guys, I create camera animation. Go on back, use target camera and check. Guys, select this tag and select Pac Man, drag and drop in target object and play. See, guys, this is really nice, right? And guys, select this cloner. And I'll go to more graph, effector, use plane. Select plane and firstly I go to parameter, position, uncheck and scale size, check. And ununiform scale, check. And scale take minus 1. And guys, I go to fall off, shape, use liner. And change orientation, take like plus x. Yes, and guys select this plane and go on Pac-Man, yes, and go on back and play, see guys, this is really nice, right, it's so easy guys. Okay, now guys, I apply material. I go to create and load material. Select, apply yellow material on spare and white material on eye. Open here and change color. Take white and diffusion uncheck. Apply on eye and blue material on this. Yes. Actually, take dark blue and guys apply blue material on this spare. Yes, and guys use light. I go to file and merge, select Cinema 4D light, flow down, 
and guys set on light select over a soap box gone here select small soap box little bit back out of camera frame yeah and go to back and play right so guys my animation is finished I go on render setting take full HD frame and frame range use all and MD occlusion use global illumination and anti select best and go to save use AVI movie and this is my save file path go on desktop create folder animation and take any file name and save that's it close and render and press ok so guys my animation is finished if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you